Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm Jamie. And we can't dance. But we can make a TikTok about railway bubbles. Railway bubbles. Think the 2008 financial crisis and the Great Depression were the only two crises this world has ever seen? Think again. Let me tell you about the railway bubbles in the 1840s. When the railways first came onto the scene in the 19th century, many people had their speculations because they were big and loud with lots of smoke. As people started to see the potential in railways as means of transporting goods and people to further distances than before, they began to feel excited about the railways. With the excitement about the railways came a lot of potential investors trying to profit off of this new technology. The excitement led to many people investing money and banks therefore lending out high-risk loans with extremely low interest rates to many different people. The Bank of England passed an aggressive lending policy that enabled the banks to give credit at a lower interest. They offered temporary credit before any kind of security had been provided by the borrowing entity and the definition of what could be used as collateral was widened. Many quote-unquote railway companies were starting to emerge and ask people for their investments with promises of making them rich. Unfortunately, many of these companies were fictitious or lying about their plans to ever make a railway, and many people ended up losing their investments. Take, for example, George Hudson, the so-called railway king who controlled many miles of railway and became one of the wealthiest industrialists of the day and even became a member of the British Parliament. It was later revealed that George was taking part in improper business practices like bribery, embezzlement, and insider trading, and even ran a Ponzi scheme paying dividends out of company capital. Railway share prices peaked in 1845 and then crashed. By 1850, railway shares were less than half of what they were in 1845. Due to so many people losing money on their investments, they were unable to pay back the loans from the banks, and the banks lost a great deal of money. The railway bubbles popped, and the banks were in hysteria. Railway, railway bubbles. bubbles.